Hey, how's it going? And today we are going to be talking about how to animate smarter instead of harder. And this is specifically geared for people that don't have the temperament to do stop motion animation or very detailed keyframe animation. We are going to be using the control rig pose tool. And this is going to really help us to animate smarter instead of harder. Now the control rig, I'm doing this also because the control rig is important to understand because you might need it occasionally to do adjustments. You could also try if you really like stop motion animation, which I'm finding out that I, I think it's amazing. I think it's really great. But honestly, I don't have the temperament to go through and do limb by limb adjustments. It's, it's just not me. It's just, I can't. But I don't mind blending poses. So if you can learn how to blend poses, then you don't, you can probably animate about 10 times faster, which is more what I'm trying to figure out how to do. Ultimately going to do is I'm going to animate a walk cycle, but instead of going limb by limb, I'm going to do it with poses. So this is an introduction to how that process would work. And the control rig pose tool is a part of that. So to get started, the first thing that we're going to need is a pose. So let's create a pose. I'm going to come into characters, go into mannequins, animations, Quinn, and it just takes a minute for this to skin up. I don't know, lately Unreal Engine's been crashing a lot on me. It never used to crash, and now it crashes almost every time I use it. I don't know what's going on with it. It's getting a little less stable. There's this MF Idle. I'm going to double click into it. I'm going to just grab it and put it up here. And here is our Idle animation that we've all know and love. And all we're going to do is come up here to go create asset, create animation. We want the current pose. Okay. And we'll just put it up here at the content level. We'll leave it called SK Mannequin Sequence and go OK. So we've just created a pose. And that's great. It's a single frame. We don't need this open anymore. Okay. So now let's go get a the same mannequin that we just created a pose from and drag her into the scene. Let's hit F and get on down here and take a look. So let's go back to the control level now, uh, the content level now. And I'm going to right click and we're going to create a level sequence here. With her selected, we're going to go add actor to sequence MF idle. Just takes a second for her to come in. She's going to come in with a control rig. And we could certainly try to move these limbs around and put her into that pose, that standing idle pose. My question to you is how long would it take you to do that? Maybe two to five minutes. Wouldn't it be better if we could just slap a pose on there and then we don't have to do the limb by limb? So that's what we're trying to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to delete this control rig because we don't need it. And then we're gonna go add that animation, that pose that we just created. And it's caught right here, SKM. Now you can barely see it, but it's right here. It's a short one, that's why, because it, it's literally just a frame. Okay, so look, instead of posing her, how long would it have taken to get her into this position? It would have taken me probably five minutes, <laughs> maybe more, and it probably wouldn't even look as good as this. So that's what I'm saying about 10 times faster. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to select this, and we're going to come here and we're going to go bake to control rig. And so what this is going to do is it's going to keyframe this pose back into our control rig. So that's what's happening right now. Create. So now all those keyframes have been basically essentially baked into it now. And so here's where we can switch gears. So now we've got this pose all set up for us. We didn't have to go limb by limb to do it. Let's say I was going to do a walk cycle here, right? And I believe it take, there's like eight or nine separate poses that you need to set up. And then you auto keyframe between them to create a walking cycle, right? Considering this to be my initial starting pose. And I would need seven more poses. And then it would just auto keyframe by selecting here. It would connect fill in all the frames between them, and I'd have a walking cycle done. All I would need is seven poses to do it. So anyway, 
But let's come up here and, and show you, let me show you how you, we can use this incredible tool. So if we come up, now to create a pose, it says poses. The pose comes from this control rig. It doesn't come from outside of here. So when it says pose, it's referring to the pose that your control rig is in, that your character is in here in the scene, not anywhere else. I thought it was referring to poses somewhere else, but no, it's referring to the, the pose that this character is in right now. So we'll come in here to pose, and you'll see it has this folder structure, and we have folders specifically for pose. So if we create poses, then if we wanted to, we could just migrate this folder into our next project if we wanted to. So we can reuse these poses over and over again in other projects. So once we do this initial hard work, we don't have to keep doing it. Now the first thing we need to do is select all of our our entire character, right? So we want to select every every bone in the body. So let me come here and select there and come down to the end here and select here. Hold down shift and we've selected all of the bones. Okay? Now with that done, I can click on poses and I should be able to go create pose. And I can give it a name and let me just say let me just call it frame one because I'm going to create eight more essentially frames. Now what I can do is I can I can fly around in the scene with that window open and I can position myself so that I get a picture of what the pose exactly is. Like right there. And then I can go capture thumbnail. So now I've got this pose selected. Now if you think about it, this this is really interesting. What we're going to do now is we, we've created our, our pose asset here. And, and essentially we're, we're done. Now this is saved per project now. So let me go save all. Save everything. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this window. I'm going to come to my content browser and I'm going to delete this level sequence. And force delete. And now let's go get a character here. Let's go back into Mannequin here. And we'll get a animation. And it's going to be Quinn. And we can just get walk forward, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and delete this from the scene. We'll select this character here. Now remember, we've created our pose asset now. And we didn't have one before. And I'm going to come back here on the content level. I'm going to create another level sequence. And then what I'll do with her selected, I'm going to go add. And see how she goes into T-Pose. I mistakenly called this a T-Pose, but this is actually an A-Pose. So she's in A-Pose. And you notice even though she had the walk forward animation initially, she loses it when she comes in. So she doesn't have any animation on her right now even though it's called MF Walk Forward, she, she lost it. So now we're strictly in control rig mode, so I'm gonna select it, but now we can use our control rig pose tool and there is our pose right there that we created earlier. So now if I select it, what you have to do, there's an order of operations here. The first thing, and it may, if you think about it, it makes sense. The first thing we wanna do is select the controls. If I want to paste, Paste what? There's nothing selected. So we're going to go ahead and select the controls. And look, it says 128 of 128. And now if I click key, what that means is it's going to keyframe into the sequencer everything that I paste. So that, and then when I go paste, pose, it keyframed in all those animations. See? Now do you see the power of this, how cool this is? So instead of me going in limb by limb and adjusting everything, all I have to do is create an asset of poses, a library of assets of poses. And then I can just save those, transfer them between projects, and that saves me so much time. So this I can do, but the stop motion animation limb by limb thing isn't for me. So anyway, 
I hope you found this of some help. And in the next tutorial, we're going to do the same process, but to create a walking site. So I'll see you there.